Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. So, I thought I'd bring you along for a trash pick at the local refuse area and we'll see what we can find. I have to pop off or stop off at the steel shop. Uh, first, I want to pick up some Tigon tubing because I used that on the hedge cutter. Uh, so, we're going to pick up some Tigon tubing on the way. I also want to get an M12 6 amp hour battery and a couple of other bits and bobs. It's 1.17 in the afternoon on Wednesday the night. So, uh, the tip closes at four o'clock we've got lots of time let's go have some fun all right guys okay so we've done our first stop off still shop and we're gonna get ourselves some tag on straight in front of us is the mower area i can see some mowers some strimmers place to find scrap metal too. I'm interested in starting to learn how to weld so I think that'll be quite good. An old Victor, a little two-stroke. Good to know you can get yourself the uh, baggers here because I often see mowers online like really cheap without baggers. That's good. Without the recoil. Alright, I'm going to go and have a little look around and I'll bring you back when I find something interesting. So I've seen two generators here. I've never worked on a generator before and I think it could be good fun. Um, just depends on price. We've got two stroke and a four stroke. The four stroke, uh, I would rather work on the four stroke because I haven't done one in a little while. However, it's missing the carb, it's missing the pull start, so it's really only a parts machine. I think people have just been nabbing things off it. However, the two-stroke kind of looks complete. Uh, I know nothing about generators. I'm gonna have to do some research. It's got its carb, it's got the governor. Uh, the only thing is the, the compression doesn't feel great. It kind of just feels a bit, feels kind of draggy rather than actually like good compression. It's got a lot of drag, but we'll see how much it is. And uh, if I can get it really cheap, then uh, maybe we'll just take it home and it'll give us something to have a little play around on. A little home light strimmer here. They're not worth anything. They really are rubbish. Yeah, they are pretty much junk. The Victor strimmers, there's none here. They're a bit, a bit more decent, but uh, anyway, let's go and keep looking. We'll go into the shop, see if we can find anything else. And uh, we'll find out how much this generator is. Anyone want a boat? Or anyone want a parts scooter? Or even some sinks? Let's go see how much the generator is. And we'll go in the shops as well. So we went over and had a look at it together. He asked what I wanted to pay for it. I offered 10 bucks, he said okay. So we'll see. To me, 10 bucks is worth it just to have a little play around. Uh, it should make some good content and uh, we'll find out if it runs and if it has any power if it doesn't we'll find out why it died so uh let's get home so just got home just put it on a table and uh let's let before we do anything let's see what the uh being a two-stroke muffler how can we take that off there how does that come off that comes off there Let's see what the let's see what the exhaust side of the piston looks like. So are they tens? Probably a ten. Oh no, they're an eight. This is critical in a two-stroke, obviously. So Hopefully you can see. And we've got one this side. That another eight. You caught it before I did. What does it look like? You're gonna watch it first. Can't see anything. Can you see anything? Really nice oil film. Yeah, looks good. All right, that's a great start. Let's put it back on. It's a 
a long spark plug. And it looks fine. Yeah, it's got obviously got a fair bit of carbon on it and dirty, but the actual uh, electrode itself, well, the ground electrode, the ground strap is a really nice color. So yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, how about we figure out how to open the throttle and we'll put a little bit of fuel in there, see if it runs. Hey, you're getting ahead of yourself. Let's check the spark next. Well, that doesn't look too good, does it? That's not gonna work. Hmm. There's nothing to say that this is actually uh, a good connection either, but we're gonna work with it, we'll see. Just putting the little barbs back in. You know, I really like these. Most of the barbs I see are just a single barb. This one's dual, and I like that. So that kind of just feel like it's gonna do a better job. Plastic, plastic, metal. You wanna hold this for me? Tell me if you see anything. Now, where's the on? Uh, there you go. That's on. I think. That doesn't mean anything there, does it? Let's be honest. See anything? I sure can't, not from this angle. Alright, let me have a look myself. Well, because I don't uh, have a spare hand to hold you, uh, I have to do it myself. But yeah, we, oh, we have spark. The whole thing's just going to move. Yeah, it is. So, that only leaves one thing now, doesn't it? Let's take we'll give it a bit of a, a squirt. Only a little bit. And I've got a light behind me. Now, I'm going to zoom you back out to see if we can see. All right. You're looking up there. I don't know if we're going to see anything. Maybe I'll take that cover off. Does the bulb have to come out? Oh, the fuel tap's on, so let's turn that off. We don't want to be sucking anymore. Did you see anything? I don't think it ran long enough. It runs, eh? It's a shame it's so high. <laughs> We've got a working generator. So the generator works. Runs. So all that's left now is to actually go through it. Go through the carb, pressure and vacuum test it and, uh, and see. But for 10 bucks so far, it's pretty good. Can't complain. All right, guys. Well... Not bad for 10 bucks. Uh, it starts, runs, and the generator itself uh, is producing power. So, as I said, we need to go over the whole thing. I'm not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to see if it starts and runs and uh, make sure we've got a good contender for a, a full video where we're going to be stripping it right back and going over it and cleaning it all up and then uh, probably keep it, much to the dismay of my partner, but the reality is I'll probably end up actually selling it so, uh, no, I think it should make a good video. Uh, let's have a little look in the fuel tank. What do you reckon? As I said, that uh, the fuel tank valve was actually left on, so the carb's probably pretty cruddy. But actually, you know what? Can't see quite that clearly, but that's not bad, is it? That's really not too bad. Could be a lot worse. Being a two stroke, it's obviously got oil on there, so that's probably is what saved it. But uh, there we go. I would say the carb's probably gummed up and the person who bought it probably uh, was used it for camping or whatever, uh, came to use it, didn't work, didn't run, uh, probably because the carb's full of junk and uh, decided to take it to the trash. So, all right, well, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the trip, hope you enjoyed the dump and uh, look forward to the next video where we're gonna start tackling this one. We have uh, the strimmer over there, which I also repaired. That one was, uh, that was a tricky one actually, that, that, <laughs> that was tricky. Anyway, I got it working and uh, it was good. It took me uh, probably a day, two days to get that one to figure out what the issue was. It was ignition 
and uh, it was giving me all sorts of strange readings. And then the hedge cutter, so that streamer we're going to put up for sale, that hedge cutter we're going to keep because we've got to keep the uh, bushes here cut back. Right now they're terrible, so we're going to do that probably Friday. But uh, yes, we're going to keep that one. That was another fix that had a lot of issues that we uh, rectified. And uh, yeah, for now, that's everything. All right, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I look forward to catching you next time. Oh, hey, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and, and subscribe to the channel. My channel's so tiny at the moment, and it's always nice when someone subscribes. It kind of makes my day. All right, cheers.